Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Yaya Ting Kami Zachary. I'm a second year dental student at McGill University. So this year, McGill has implemented two new pathways for applicants to apply to. And if you have always wanted to become a dentist, especially in Quebec, please, please, please do not miss this video. So the first one is the clinician scientist pathway. And the second one is the black candidate pathway. Let's start with the clinician scientist pathway. So this pathway allows applicants to receive two degrees, one a master's degree in dental science with thesis followed by a DMD degree. It is a continuation for six years time. You start with your master's in which you have to write a thesis by the end of your graduate studies. You'll be doing research with a professor of your choice so they'll be supervising your work. I'll leave a link down below for you to just consult just to see what are the different topics at our faculty. Once you've submitted your thesis at the end of your second year, you will be automatically enrolled in a DMD program, which is four years. The only difference between the classic DMD and the master's DMD is that you will have a master's degree before starting dental school. So what are the different requirements for this pathway? Essentially, there's a couple. So I'll list them out on the screen so that you can see while I'm speaking as well. So the first one is you need to either be a Quebec resident or you are a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. And you have to meet the same academic and non-academic requirements as the DMD program. So that means your science prerequisites and CASPER. And just a side note, the DAT or the DAT is not required for the fall 2023 entry. If you're applying this year, the year that I made this video, you don't need to do the DAT. And if you're watching this video in the future, so that means after 2022, please consult the website because there may or may not be changes for the DAT. After that, you need to have done a bachelor's in science so essentially anything related to science, such as biochemistry, physiology, physics, chemistry, and much more. This is not an exhaustive list. So if you're not sure if your program can be considered as a bachelor in science, don't be shy to let me know or contact the undergrad admission office. I'll leave the email right here. On top of all these requirements, you are going to be required to submit a personal statement. You can download the file from the website and you'll basically have to answer three questions in the Word document. First question is, why did you choose to apply to the clinician scientist pathway? Please share your thoughts on why future dentists should have research and clinical training. Second is what are your research interests and research experiences? If possible, would you be interested in continuing a PhD program? And third is what are your career goals and how will this pathway help you achieve them? I think these are very fair questions to be asked because the community just wants to know a bit more of who you are, what you've done, how do they decide who gets in and who doesn't. First, in order to get an invite for the interview, it is 70% academic profile, 20% Casper, and 10% for personal statement and CV. It is important to note that your CV and your personal statement will be evaluated by the Graduate Studies Admission Committee. And once you have received the invite, you will be doing the MMR like everyone else. Also, you may be invited to individual interview with members of the Graduate Studies Advisory Committee. The second new pathway is the Black Candidate Pathway. This pathway is just like so important and it's like a new, it's a good step towards improvement and changes with the goal of being more inclusive but also allow a stronger diversity within dental and the healthcare field this pathway will allow people from underrepresented populations to achieve their dreams of becoming a dentist. Anyone who self-identifies themselves as black are highly encouraged to let the admission office know in the academic workbook. If you choose not to participate in this pathway, even if you fit all the criteria, that's totally fine as well. Whether you want to be in this pathway or not, it won't negatively impact your application. So what are the requirements for this pathway? First, you need to fit the criteria as a Quebec resident. Two, it's to self-identify as black. For your GPA, it has to be 3.4 or higher on a scale of 4.0. And you need to have done your science requirements, CASPER, and possible DAT if you are watching in the future. Again, for this year application cycle of 2022 to 2023, you do not need to have written the DAT. If you're applying as a university level applicant, 
you need to have completed a bachelor or to be in your last year of your degree. That means you have to have received your degree by July 31st before starting dental school. You'll also have to submit all the documents, so like academic workbooks, CV, and also a personal statement. In this personal statement, you'll be asked to answer two questions. First one being, how has your identification with and connection to your black ancestry and community impacted your educational path and goals. Feel free to share your experiences, positive or negative, in getting to where you are today. Second question is, tell us about your reasons for choosing a career in healthcare and what you think you can bring to this profession. So when it comes down to the selection process, the admission office will review your application just to confirm that you meet the academic and non-academic criteria. Their personal statement and the CV will be assessed by black community members, but also healthcare professional admission file reviewers. Candidates endorsed by the file reviewers would then proceed to the MMIs. The offers will be based on your MMI performance within the in-province cohort. So 100% MMI. These are two wonderful additions to the already existing indigenous candidate pathway. I do believe that these admission pathways will help increase the diversity within our dental community. Once again, the deadline to submit an application for university level applicants is on November 1st and for DENP it is on March 1st so please guys don't forget. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I just really wanted to show you guys these two new pathways. I'm really hoping that I will be able to see more of you guys in the near future. If you have any questions regarding dentistry, McGill, or anything like that, let me know on Bubble Teeth IG and I will answer as much as I can. Thank you so much again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace guys.